unsearchable. What are you talking about, man? We're all like laid back. We're like, well, we we finally got the cannibalism conversation out of the way between Zach Brent. Um The efficacy of... Nom nom! Right. Then soggy meat. Now we have meat... And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The world's slightly getting back to normal before I hit the microphone. It's been a while since I've done that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I'm kind of scared. I'm, I'm a little bit terrified, Jordan, because we're in the presence of a cricket mancer. <laughs> cricket, cricket. I became cricket, a cricket, cricket. mancer. You straight up did, man. I'm like cricket mancer. All right, fine, done. So, 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 so what? He he's he's like Willard, but for crickets. I don't. We we we're both cocky I, I didn't know if Pedro was going to take the bait, but uh, there's a game. You know, it's the old text adventure, but it's all AI generated on the fly. Yeah, it's completely AI generated, yeah. like yeah. mud. And the game's like, oh, you. <laughs> get off work and you hail a cab and you land outside of a bar when you get out and it's like what do you do it's like i hail satan and it's like oh there's a bar what do you do to the bar eat bar and it wouldn't let me do that but pedro got to the point where he became a cricket monster and i thought that was impressive i wanted to share that with the beautiful beautiful audience watching us i'm vin stone that's jordan swing that cricket monster is pedro mateus and you at home shot room dynamic helping us form cocaine voltron um not pet safe just fair warning on that don't don't feed linux gamecast to your pets or they will get horrible diarrhea horrible the, diarrhea uh, and uh, shout at you for no reason terribly well, cross with you, you you know what they say shit in shit out right right <laughs> unless you're never mind uh what's up <laughs> unless you're it? unless you're a human centipede check this out so before we get going we like to do this and see what's going on in each other's life organs baby uh i said on twitter yesterday because i was generally like okay I, i've kind of bought into the black magic ecosystem hardware and software wise and one of the biggest steps i got to deal with is like around one with any type of tech you know support ticket or anything like what operating system are you running linux are you running their special jacked up version of the are you running the linux equivalent of windows xp like no oh well then we got to go through all that so i'm thinking about moving to which I originally I didn't want to go to CentOS seven because it was way wicked outdated. Then Debian ten came out. I'm like, eh, maybe we can build everything on that. That's fine. Then you know, Cent eight came out, and I'm like, oh, those repos are going to take a minute to get up to speed. Now it's got up to speed. And now I'm going like, oh, okay, maybe I'll play around with that. Posted that on Twitter. I'm like, because I had a couple people reply, I'm like, there be dragons, Vin. You know not what you do. They were destruction. It is an unwildly beast. It cannot be. I'm like, it's fucking scent, son. I, what, what are you talking about? Like, you might have had an argument around like CentOS 3. And I, I was like, you guys agree? And Jordan's like, yeah, right? It, it's, it's, it's fucking it's Red, Red Hat. Hat. Right? <laughs> like, like, so pe people are like, oh, well, CentOS isn't a gaming distribution. I'm like, Okay. fair but like <laughs> you can you can install a newer version of mesa on it like red hat does give a shit about gp compute gpu compute so mm. like it's, they're, they're not going to make it difficult to install your nvidia drivers do you think whatever. it boils down to simply coming from the my first thought was like i'll, I'll take installing that over aix any day if you ever dealt with that nastiness um <laughs> but with like just coming up with it and knowing how to rip stuff out and put stuff back in i'm like oh there's not a package all right Wait, it's open source all right i can compile it it's not a problem yeah. i'll just stick that there stick that there or being dependent on you know whatever package management ecosystem there is i don't know i, I just i i was surprised that People thought, I mean, this is, it's sin, dude. I mean it, it, it's fedora without the sparkly hairdo yeah, I th I, th I, th I think Cent Eight is like Fedora twenty five, which is like still three years old. Like it's not the yeah. worst thing in the world. No. And, and and they like backport patches and whatnot. And it's it's like it's a reasonably solid OS. I will probably take around with it on Monday. Uh, also, want to give a shout out to the Cloud Smart Switch from Microtech. Um, finally found one on eBay at a price I was willing to pay for it. It's pretty cheap, twenty four port gigabit, but it's got dual ten gig. SFP plus fiber ports on it. Um, using what about it right the baboons? now. It's hey, shh. Well, you see, 
This is why I'm using direct attached copper, not because it's under nine meters. Nay, I'm trying to fend off the fiber baboons. I don't want them in here causing no. a ruckus. They're, with their red cheeks. Yeah, and their fiber <laughs> ways. Hey, man, what's what's new with you, Joe, baby? Oh man, I've, I've, I've apparently I'm a Python programmer now. I, f I found that out this week, so I've been I've been doing that. Um, I was like, hey man, I got a Python project. And he's like, F go fuck yourself, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, dude, I, I, have, I, have, no. I have I have I have not done any serious coding in like literally like six or seven years, and I'm like, oh, you need to do a bunch of Groovy scripting now. You need to do a bunch of Python programming now. I'm like. I got out of university because I didn't want to program. Why am I here now? Um, yeah, I got, I got, I got my new chair. I'm sitting on it. Oh yeah, it the is yellow one. It is green. It's yellow. It's chartreuse. It is so yellow. Whatever. I think we established on Discord earlier in the week that it was green. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the, th the thing it, it was a lot brighter than I expected when it showed up but it's it's that classic case of like Amazon like saturates the colors of the products a little bit so that it looks more what it is than what it actually is right. I don't know it it takes my butt I sit on it it's fine so mission accomplished hmm. right. okay <laughs> what about you Pedro I got a text this morning to say that uh, my delivery from Shenzhen in China uh, had cleared customs. I thought it was Shenzhen so, in Arkansas. It could be, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, apparently my, um, my Pinebook Pro is coming. Either my Pinebook Pro or the, um, <laughs> the NVMe. Uh, like the little on VME. Uh, they're just gonna piece it out to you. There's gonna be like a ransom note. I'm like wait, because here's, here's I ordered, keys. I ordered the two. It's like all right. So it's either the complete thing and it, it's got both things in the box. But if it was just a teeny tiny little NVME thing, it probably wouldn't have to go through customs because it's tiny. So I hope it's the whole thing. We'll I, I spit I spaced that for a second and I thought you were talking about like the 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 screen half of the laptop and the keyboard and the guts half of the laptop ship separately. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, that makes no sense. No oh, man, it, it's an unintended <laughs> It just pops right off with some iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick, it, stick yeah, it together, yeah. It's a piece of cake, man. <laughs> it is a pine laptop, so that I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> Something I gotta ask about the um, Pine laptop is, what's it? What, what's resolution on the screen? The 1080p. Okay, it is today. That's another issue. Is like I was reading with like the Pine tablet. I'm like, I should just buy one to say I got one. Is not only being like 720p, but they're, they're saying like three percent or like however many dead pixels. And I'm like, oh, it's normal. Yeah, they they say that even with the Pine books, it's like we get like. B quality screens, so one, two, three, or four dead pixels are expected. Which so. at 1080p, <laughs> you're like, eh, uh, but at 720p, three dead pixels, you're gonna notice that. Yeah. Like, and I mean, I get, I get why they do it, right? They got to keep the cost of the pine books down yeah. so that like people can you know buy them. But yes, <laughs> fair point. Um, yeah, I, I hundred bucks, man. I'll probably just buy one anyway. I'm like, hey, that's neat, and you go in the drawer. Um, yeah. right, right, right on top of the Windows 10 tablet. <laughs> Above it, because I don't, I don't want to touch it, so I don't. I'll just put it on top. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 just right, just right on top of the tablet. Yeah, I, I do that because spatially, it's in a spare room in a closet on the top shelf with nothing. It's like there. This is your home. It's what it what, it's, it's sufficiently air gapped so that it can't infect anything. <laughs> Every now and then, I go in there and I ding, 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 shame, and I just walk out of the room. It's kind of, kind of. It's a little bit strange, but it's also a little bit hot. I like the horse. I mean, the horse is strange. I, I wouldn't necessarily say horses hot, but are who, strange. Also venomous. Who who am I to judge you based on your horse preferences? It's the steam. Hey, check it out. Open XR developer preview. What is this? It's kind of brilliant, man. You know. Like Vulcan, having cross-platform standards for toasters. You know, the one toasters you get face-fucked by when you put them on your head and you swing your arm around. Just one arm, not the other arm. You keep that one just like dead and mute to your left side and uh, knock shit over in your house. Uh, hey, open standards. It's a good thing. Steam VR's OpenXR implementation is going to support 
uh, what is it? Direct 3D 11 on Windows, Vulkan on Windows, and more importantly, Linux. This is a good thing, Pedro. It is, and mixed reality is kind of a big deal, especially when you're dealing with not just, you know, the $6.99 and the $9.99 headsets and the base stations and everything else that the Index and the uh, the Vive before it would cost you. So having as much support possible for the all of the other uh, mixed reality headsets that you can get your hands on, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Please do more of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, so the software release here, though, is pretty much a preview. Uh, you can't mess with uh, any of the bindings, but that's going to be promised, that, or that is promised with the full feature release, as with the future of graphics processing Ooh. DirectX 12 coming to a Linux near you in 2020, 2020, 2020. Um, do, do, but, do you, like, even remotely look forward or backwards to the point where we have to, like, pull that clip up while we're talking about dx12 on Linux. like yeah yeah huh <laughs> it's 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 the future man but like yeah ha like like as you're saying ha having this sort of standard is like super useful um it enables more people to make more vr games it makes sure that like no in single vendor is gonna go off and i'm gonna do my own thing and everyone else is gonna be like okay bye and Not us Alicia. peasants don't have to pay a massive price as you know <laughs> the entry bar it, yeah mm. yeah that, that again i like I, it <laughs> I was genuinely impressed and surprised that, that Alex pushed that many units. I would like like detailed numbers for it, but it's Valve. Yeah. You're it's, not getting yeah. them. <laughs> but like, so so like what, so at this point, what do you what do you what do you think is the better investment? Are you are you gonna are you gonna fork out the dough for like uh, like a, a a Vive or an Index or nope. the PlayStation? I'm 5? buy some duct tape and a PS5 and I'm, and I won't do things. <laughs> You're, you're gonna do you're things going to, to it. stick it to a table. Not 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 not, not video gaming or virtual reality things. Just just things. Just things. Better left unsaid. There's, there's a new version of Proton out, dude, and it does it, there it does is. some weird things. Well, it does one weird thing, but it's also a good thing, depending. This one weird trick, Windows hates it because this month we're like EA. You're not evil incarnate, just completely because you're open source some twenty year old stuff. But Proton five zero dash nine. Fix running games that require the EA Origin client. Mm -hmm. Yay. And they fixed a crash in Final <laughs> Fantasy the Zodiac Age. So that's good. Again, I looked through the EA list and I was like, oh, no, don't see anything in there. I, I, I'm looking at. Again, um, I'm not Pedro. Pedro's like, I'm going to get this one, this one, anything with Need wheels for on speeds it. Yeah. And Burnout Paradise. Yeah. And there's a couple of more games there. Uh, but EA, yeah, no, EA's something. has got Pedro's crack. Man, Pedro, I Dude, I. I I lucked out because most of the stuff that's coming out on Steam now, I bought when I was just using Windows. So it's like, all right. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, once I, I again, was still working something Proton good now. from EA comes, but this time around, they didn't really have anything to do with it. No, no, they, it's it's just Valve fixing their shit for them. <laughs> they 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 didn't do anything. EA has mastered mastered the open source foist maneuver. Oh, we're just gonna let the community deal with it, and then <laughs> yup, <laughs> that's definitely a thing. But you know, you gotta think about the nature of uh, hey, you bought that stuff on Origin. That's neat. You want to buy it again, fucko? Yep. So that's why I, that's why I bought all of my EA games on Steam when Origin became a thing. I'm just well, like uh, yeah, that's no. an interesting thing. Look, so I buy it again, but I get Steam achievements. Oh fuck no, we're EA. Eat a dick. <laughs> now buy that, the that's game. What, that, that, that's what EA stands for. Eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the proton. Hey, let's it keep is. it rolling. And we don't have just the regular proton. We have Proton GE version five point nine dash two. Which is currently out, and it's already had two hot fixes. Why did Why did they call uh, it that instead of Proton Five Point Nine? Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. <laughs> but yeah, no. The first hot fix came um, at uh, ten fifteen a.m. on um, June tenth, and it's apparently uh, Glorious Eggroll himself applied uh, patch uh, one of two twice instead of applying patch one and two uh to the resident evil 3 to fix the resident evil 3 credits not playing properly but uh he went back and corrected that and uh 
He went back once again after reviewing the issue tracker for Sea of Thieves, because Sea of Thieves is now on Steam, and he found that uh, there is a way that you can get the game to work, which after you've applied all the changes necessary to even get the game to start, you need to set it back to Windows 7. Hmm. So it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't doing that directly so yeah he went back and fixed that and it uh, version g uh, 5.9 ge-2 is the one that you should be looking for if you're trying to play any of those games there were also a few fixes for um the one that caught my eye was uh near and sekiro yeah why next 11 patch re-enables what does that mean i'm but, with you on yeah. that I was like, wait, 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 what huh I don't yeah, know. Just don't, just, don't, just don't play it in Wayland. Something I do want to point out, since we're in the Proton Train, is uh, Linux underscore gaming on Reddit. Code Weavers made a post. If you're into playing, is it Red Dead Redemption Two? They have a little custom build enabled that'll get you past the launcher, and the guy wants some feedback for it. So I just want to throw some love in that direction. Nice. Not my type of game. Don't own it, but it might be my type of game. I, again, horses, venom. Uh, so <laughs> yes, see, I mean, I mean, the Sea of Thieves is on that list. Like that, that's always been one that kind of interested me because it's, it's like dick around on a pirate ship with your friends. It looks yeah. like it could be fun. It's fifty it bucks be. though, so it's not. Yeah. I'm not willing to pay that much for it, but maybe, maybe on sale. Fair enough. Uh, All right, new games. Yes, well, new games. Starting well, off let, with let, a... well, let's let's get Byzantine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Europa Universalis 4 colon Emperor is available. Um, it's an expansion to Europa Universalis 4. Uh, I know there are a group of people who are super excited about this DLC. None of them are on this show. But if you want some Holy Roman hijinks, some, I couldn't think of a good one for SPQR. Um, yeah, we, uh, th this, this is the product for you. Um, you can rebel against, like, um, what the the rise of Protestantism? Um, just you you just got to be the Holy Roman Empire, be the Catholic Church. Uh, don't do some of the things that a Catholic Church does to small children. But you know, it's a game. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, so the the deal the DLC is out. Par Paradox is usually pretty good about like supporting Linux with their strategy games and giving like timely uh, simultaneous releases for this stuff. So yeah, yep. twenty thirteen. Yep. Hey, if it, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix oh, it. Oh God! For, for for like for the for the amount for the amount of griping we do about I'm like a fun EA. time trying to get chat sorted out. You guys keep going. Yeah, I, I mean, well, that's that's the thing. You, you you can you can you can talk about like oh, it's a DLC for a, like a what ten year or seven year old game now. But like we also we also gripe about um, EA releasing a new sports game every year, right? So like if you can deliver new content to your platform via DL via DLC. I think that's like a that's a valid way of extending your game's life. Yeah, especially with like grand strategy 4XE type games like Europa Universalis, which yeah, this is a V game. This game came out in 2013. Now, how much would you expect to pay for a game from 2013? 9.99? Nay. I'd probably uh, wait for it to go on sale for like five. Nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 so like on, on on Steam, he's getting at that it's like a fifty dollar, forty dollar game, fifty Canadian. Um, oh god! But like this has shown up in so many bundles too. Like <laughs> it has, yeah. Like you 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 can get it for the cost to pay what you want. It's not. I mean, you, you bulk up the Steam, but like again, wait three months and Humble's like, hey, we got all the whatever sound stuff. You can get it for like twenty five. Well, I'm kind of with you. With the, <laughs> this is one of those games where it it has that their type. You know, I'm like this yeah. is what I play. And the, yeah, I that's think, what I was saying. It's yeah. some people. This is the game that it's they play. your jam. I get it. To time. me, I think to a lot of people, you're like. <laughs> You're looking at a fucking map, man. For okay, cool. Not gonna judge in your presence, but I'm gonna <laughs> go on the other side of this door. Judge shit out of you. All right, bye. All right, up, up, up. Next, we we got we got the burning night, which is appropriate because I'm the burning fool on some things. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a uh, roguelike sort of twin sticky dungeon crawler thing. One thing that stuck out to me is if you scroll down all the way down to the system requirements. Um, apparently this was developed on a four gigabyte RAM Linux laptop. If you go to the Linux nice. things. <laughs> so, you know, guys, it's not that hard. They're like, you can get one of these machines for like a hundred bucks now. So it's, it's not, it's not that hard. Um, 
but yeah, uh, it's a bullet hell roguelike. It has it has like an item combo gimmick, so you can like get item A and B, combine their effects, and get like a super broken thing. Um, it also has some Twitch integration and some uh, online leaderboard stuff, which could be interesting. It could be fun to play with a crowd or friends. I don't know what the Twitch integration is. It might it would it would be cool if like the Twitch chat can like spawn enemies just to screen no, you over. They could be bullets. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's a good no, idea. I'm man. looking at it. It's like, oh, that's a lot. That looks a lot like um, Enter the Gungeon. Yep. Like a lot. Even the icons and the little floaty bits around the characters. Like that. That I'm pretty sure I've seen that in Enter the Gungeon. Really? Yeah, I'm looking at that and it's like that looks a lot like Zelda. It's it's hipster pixel, right? Like it's that's that's what the <laughs> that's what the aesthetic is. I'm not I'm not I'm not I, 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 I'm not gonna hate on it for that. I don't know. It's got a screenshot for a recent event that just says quack quack. So you got to cut them some slack on that. <laughs> quack quack, motherfuckers! Quack quack, quack quack. Click click blam. Well, the Isle of Spirits uh, is uh, it's out. It's <laughs> there been we out go. Since June 10th. Start on a positive note. It chop out. chop. It's out, dig, dig. it is, and uh, if you're looking at the trailer and thinking, that looks very Minecrafty without any of the excuse, uh, and you'd be right. And uh, I had a little, uh, you know, bit of a Are you getting a little bit of, like, don't say. starve vibe from, like, the... Oh, little a little bit. bit. Nah, a little right. bit. Okay. A little, yeah. Uh, I had the, um... I had a bit of a joke going. It's like, oh, you know you must be doing something really special if you're not even getting a single negative review. You but spoke too Jordan, soon, buddy. Dun, yeah, dun, dun. Jordan pointed out, it's like, oh, I got ahead of the curve on that one. And uh, one, yes, now it uh, has uh, one user uh. review and it's negative. Oh, no. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> okay. So I played about 35 minutes. So I can't really comment on but a motherfucker here is on short novel. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's more than I write when I review a game after playing it for fifteen fuck mothering hours. You need to summarize. Um, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I mean, it's 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 like the it's like the dichotomy, right? Like you got you got the guy who has like four thousand hours in the game. It's okay, I guess, it's in okay. its review, yeah. and then thirty minutes. Ah! Mm -hmm. It's, it's, I'm going to justify my negative review. It's like, no, you didn't like the game. That's it. That's all you need to say. It's like I did not like it. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> this so, was like, it, I didn't like it, but <laughs> let me tell you how to make the game I want to play. You, you, what you do is you take the game I want to play and how I would design it, and change the game you made into that. Then I'll be happy. You know what? Mm. That just doesn't give me any hope for humanity. Yeah. The other thing too is like I think I think something oh, like multiplayer geez. might save so it. That's, that's, like that, that's it. All right. No. Hope of humanity. Yeah. Check it out. It's your yeah, story too. It is. It's 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 a free it's a free to play game. Um, it's like custom space station FTL, which you know could seem like a good recipe on paper, but you know you look at the mostly negative reviews and um, the the reviews seem to indicate, hey, this game had a lot of promise, and then nothing. I don't Absolutely know, man. You gotta, the, the digital wallpaper pack for six ninety nine might be fucking amazing. Might be. Um, but it looks like it does the thing where it takes like a bunch of NASA screenshots and puts the gameplay over it, which I, I got nothing against, but this is a, yeah. like a time honored thing, man. Making a space game look pretty, not difficult. Yeah. Just, yeah, no, it isn't, but somehow they made this one not look very appealing at all. Well, I mean, especially it like the way the ships move. <laughs> generic space. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. I don't know. See, I couldn't talk shit about this and like be like, but FTL is, I mean, come on, whatever. Um, what do you need to run this? Not much. We got to start nope. this review. Oh, geez. It's bad. Even the tutorial <laughs> is not working. Oh, yeah, no. All, all, all the reviews are from like early access and eventually. Product it... refunded. How? Hard mode. Um, <laughs> unplayable for anyone who doesn't money? read Russian. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that 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 was the bulk of the reviews. It's like the game isn't fully translated. It says it is, but it isn't. <laughs> Hope of humanity also. is difficult to play without a working tutorial. Tutorial inside only tell you number one thing, but it might be a fun game later on. Here's here's my experience with the game. It's like you know what? I don't take that's a challenge. Load it up. <laughs> load it up. <laughs> in the wrong monitor, which happens to be my portrait monitor for show notes. And I couldn't make out the mice type to do it, so I gave it the old Ulta 4 Vulcan nerf pinch, and that's the last we ever saw. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> that but, usually but, does it. So, so who's your favorite Raifu? Waifu. Raifu. Men, do you, raifu, waifu. Raifu, yes. Is that like ra- <laughs> Kung Fu Rice? No, it's like Raichu. I don't know. I, I've seen a lot Raichu. of anime. I'd, I'd have to go back and Is actually that Pikachu's reassess my... Pikachu's second uh... cousin? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know, kids. <laughs> But yeah, no, this is completely unrelated to that. This is Raifu Wars, which is 10% off for uh, £1.88 around here. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be... Here's the real thing. Anyone who just heard Raifu Wars, like, man, I know what the fuck this is, Pedro. Come on, really? Yeah. Yeah. It, but it's not. It, okay. it, 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 it is... Uh, think... I think one of the reviews actually mentioned it. It's um, a Fire Emblem step aside. Uh, and yeah, it is... It fits very much the uh, Fire Emblem style of... Or Final Fantasy Tactics uh, style of gameplay. And um, yeah, it, you just know by looking at it uh, that all the chibi cutesy anime characters and the like grown-up versions that they have in the little uh, art to the ne- uh, to the side of the trailer um that you know that some of the unlockables are going to be some raunchy pictures of the protagonist why do you always assume you the worst know. from things called <laughs> raifu <laughs> I don't <laughs> see. Oh wow, that that one that one's dabbing. I mean, it, so it look it it looks cringy, but like it's got online verses, so it might actually it be does. fun if you can get over the art style and you know central conceit. But you know, maybe maybe you're like the atomic ass and you're right smack dab in the middle of that target market, and you're like, yes. How give, could you give, have give me the any, <laughs> any concern from a studio whose mascot Yota Studios is a smoking monkey? Not on not a flammable. Gorillas would like a word with you. Also, also, also stupid monkey studios. <laughs> Let's see. OpenGL four. You need four compliant graphics in order to run this. OpenGL four. four. No, no. It there's a. It's four. Oh, compliant. four compliant. All right. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. but but OpenGL it will run on compliant. your. It will run on your <laughs> Pinebook because you just need a dual core processor. It doesn't say jack shit about it being x86 or about it being power PC. Actually, it doesn't because the Pinebook, uh, the open source drivers for the Mali GPU only support OpenGL two, two point one. Something like that? You have been spared through the magic of pine. The, um... I don't know, man. Uh, All I can say about this game is it looks like World War II did seek out, but with, like, an extra dash of weep. Pretty much. Yeah, Yeah, it is. (laughs) Tactics. This guy, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Fire Emblem, that style of game. Yeah. But with, yeah, chibi anime characters. It's brilliant. It's lovely. Indeed. I I, I enjoy the... (laughs) future of whatever the hell that is indeed <laughs> coming up next have you ever wanted more gestures supported on linux other than well we got a solution for you don't, don't keep us in suspense no you gotta watch the thing damn it and we're back this time well well this time we still have a lot of people to think because you lot just Made it rain. insatiable. What are you talking about, man? We're all like laid back. We're like, well, we we finally got the cannibalism conversation out of the way between segments. Um, the efficacy. Nom nom. Of, right. Then soggy meat. Now we have meat super soaker. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it, oh, it's, no, it's the, the, if, if, hold on. I got. I got to go feed the meter. And I by just, that, I, mean, I just it, like it, the, You know what? The meter. The I, meter. Yeah. <laughs> It, you need a demeter if you're gonna have a meter, man. You don't want to. Um... No, I, I I I measure my height in meat. <laughs> in case meat you units. meet extra hard, that I, I one re- time. <laughs> I, I really like the fact that somebody. Well, there's definitely the two types of person. Somebody's like, I really gotta watch the live show, and there's the equal like, I'm glad I don't watch this thing live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, well, I, 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 either way, you can get some good benefits by supporting us. Uh, heading on over to Patreon.com. Or not even Patreon.com. Look, Linux, no, Gamecast. Linux Gamecast. Gamecast, so you can watch. Hang on. Oh, man, go back. Blowjob face! No. Blowjob face! You can still look at our Edge Lord outfits. Aw. Yes, so edgy. Which were both the same. <laughs> I, I, I just cut myself. I'm bleeding so hard because of all that edge. Yeah, but head on over to LinuxGamecast.com. Move your master over the support button. We got lots of ways to support us. Uh, Bitcoin. We got PayPal. We got Wishlist. We'll talk about those later. We got Patreon, too. Patreon's yeah, yeah, a cool son. thing. 
because by becoming a Patreon, you get access to our Discord channel. Certain levels will get you access to the show notes so you can help us or you can watch us make the show before we go live or you can even make corrections. You can Horrible shout idea. at us. You yeah, might as uh, well just stories. watch live. Ugh. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> it'll get your name in the credits either way uh, and access to some VODs pretty early. We um, have Chicago Kicks Ours, which is just there because Chicago Kicks Ours. But it includes Discord benefits, <laughs> oh, but it yeah, doesn't yeah. include it doesn't include friends with benefits. No. That's for the that's for no. the sixty nine dollar tier. Um, <laughs> that's the special benefits. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we, we also do multiplayer game streams. Uh, I do one on Thursday, Ven does some on Friday. Uh, if you're a Patreon, you get first dibs if we're trying to uh, get some people together to play some games. Well, of course you get uh, first dibs. You'd be hanging out in our super awesome Discord with everyone else. Indeed. Uh, we got we got some we got some people we got to thank. When you go, hey, I want to play multiplayer game. Who's around? Uh, then, oh, man, can't make no, it. Can't make can't it. Make it. <laughs> no. Um, we, we, we got, we got, uh, Iris121, who's a brand new pitcher. I'm going to thank you for that. Um, Exalty also gave us some cash over the PayPal. So thanks a lot yeah. for that. And, thank uh, Aldeus, <laughs> he got Pedro Borderlands 3. He got me Divinity Original Sin 2. Thank you very nice. much. <laughs> uh, speak, speaking, speaking of wish list, the aforementioned legendary wish list. I have a wish list. Pedro has a wish list. Yeah, Pedro has a wish list. Ben has a wish list. <laughs> I got I, I got the hand right the first time. I had to double check. Um, um, but yeah, um, if you if you get us stuff off our wish list, a if you leave us a message with a little Amazon note, we have to read that on air. B, you get to go up on this super reflective screen behind Ben's head. Oh my God! Yay! Oh, we got to thank me. Carl and Jeez, Mike there. and Re- Glare. No, Mike's you can't read it. Oldest. I can't yeah, get that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so much Glare. I I am still battling with this chat for some reason. I don't know, man. It just it does not love me, which is fine. I don't love it. I, I'm moderate. <laughs> in, 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 indeed. Oh, oh, we 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 oh we we do have a store though. If you want to like get some LGC apparel, we got shirts, we got stickers, we got. Oh, I got to throw all these. Uh, all these got me something. I didn't get to see what it was, man. I haven't. I oh no! Home. Is this going to turn into Linux Gamecast Live unboxing? Uh. Is it bees? Well, I don't. It will in the after show because I'm sure it'll pop up when I open Steam. Ah, bees! <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll be a thing. Uh, thanks, bees. everyone. Uh, we get to do this Steam. party, and we get to do it the way we want to do it. Hopefully, we make a show that we find entertaining, and maybe you find it entertaining. I hope you do. Maybe you don't. Podcast, all that fun stuff uh, available after the fact. Yeah. Can we can we do the news now? Can, can we demeet? We have to demeet the money penguin. Yes. No more meat, meat for the money penguin. You know, on, That's the, a, on the stream deck, the on the stream deck, I just have like cash and I have an off button so I can cut cash on, <laughs> cash off. Is that banana like wax cash. on, wax off? No, it's like banana cash. <laughs> meat banana. Cash on. It's Karate Kid, but for the capitalist generation. Code, code, code Masters. Let's not go there. Yes, the Code Masters bundle is uh, now available for you to purchase from humblebundle.com. And uh, yeah, it includes toy box turbos. I think it's a racing game. I, well, yeah. yes, uh, it, it's one of those micro machine style top down view oh, racing ah, games. It's it's a, uh, op- updated to support Oculus Rift, so you can have oh, VR. Fuck that noise. Yeah, you can have Barfo Vision if you're really into that. Uh, but <laughs> no, <laughs> it's all the Code Masters games, and that's mostly racing games. Let's be honest, it's Code Masters. So you get Grid Auto Squirt, Toy Box. Um, you also get Overlord, and the both dirt rallies uh, dirt rally uh 2.0 is only available if you pay 15 dollars or more so keep that in mind though i will say that if you are a linux user and if you're not why are you listening to this podcast uh <laughs> but yeah it is rated gold on proton db which is i'm not saying that's the reason i bought it but that's totally the reason i bought Holy it Holy endorsing it yeah on, so on, yeah. on behalf of the <laughs> nhs <laughs> uh one, one, one thing <laughs> i did not mention the nhs i did not mention any you just did sword. pedro you just did um what so I, I, I was, sir, I was no actually, backtracking sir all right good <laughs> uh, uh one, one thing i was i was actually gonna give uh, overlord to a plug because i played the first one forever ago and it was pretty fun um, it was like brutal brutal legend style but 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 then you pointed this out in the notes oh come on i thought it was gonna be like pedro and just read what i wrote no Aww. Boo! Go. That, that means I gotta scroll down a little bit. 
Hey, yeah, if you like racing games, man, check it out. Grid Overload 2. Overload 2. Ah, that's what I picked it up for, was the Overlord Part 2. I was like, oh, wait, I didn't know that Linux had a Linux port. It, it really doesn't, <laughs> because that's a virtual programming port. And here's why it worries me, because it doesn't launch with Proton. So eventually, when the virtual programming port no longer works, you could kind of be shut out of luck. Unless the Proton guys figure out a way to get it running. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I picked it up. And I mean, everything else, I, any, anything in there that I wanted already had that had four wheels. And it's like, all right. You, I, don't, I don't think you can get that Hyundai on Linux, though. The R4 or whatever. It's Windows only DLC. Oh. Hyundai? Hyundai. Hyundai. <laughs> Listen, man, in Canada, cars are made of meat. <laughs> it's it's true it's true now that uh, hold on i need to tip my uber who dropped me off in his uh beaver mobile beaver mobile <laughs> silly flying beavers all right lollipop lollipop <laughs> what is it i don't know but it goes pop it's an unofficial user space driver for hid plus plus that is nowhere near as kinky as it sounds logitech devices man it's unofficial you might know it but it works for the mice the gerbils as we call them and keyboards, tippy taps. We were discussing earlier how neat it would be if there was just, you know, a regular, like, keyboard. But, check this out. It had a trackball mouse on the bottom so you could slide it around like a Ouija board. That'd be <laughs> pretty fucking dope, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. But, Jordan, you have a keyboard-mouse combo for your TV box thing, and you still didn't get around to trying this. No, I didn't. Um, because I thought they were a bunch of fancy keyboards. Then I actually looked at what they were. And I'm like, oh, I have this one. Um, mm -hmm. but uh, you can you can install it. Uh, the big thing here is it adds like gesture support, so you can do like the expand. You can do the contract, which is, a lot of it is already supported under Linux, anyways, with like the pinch zoom and whatnot. But if you want like customizable gestures, I think this is the way to go about it. A lot of a lot of the supported devices are just kind of like regular keyboard laptop mice whatever um but it's good to have something like this available if you have something with macro keys so you don't want to go through the whole brig and roll of setting up x to map them to things um yeah i i, I do have to try this out on the uh, tv box though because maybe i can do fancy gestures like swiping and swiping and i don't know i mean like like throwing and launching <laughs> kicking hoping and waiting <laughs> yeah Pedro, yeah, as somebody who this... makes all those fancy macro things for your mouse, it, does this interest you? I mean, have you ever... Okay, like, legit, one of the reasons I bought this monstrosity is because it's just straight up inside the kernel. It's like, Helicom, uh, support. You want to compile that in? Yep. I, th I thought you got it because it looks like the Eye of Sauron. And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And kernel support. And kernel support. Um, does this interest you? Do you have like a? I've never had a Logitech um, gerbil of any sort. That, but then again, ah. you know. <laughs> that went flying. That was pinned down by something. I mean, I was I was hoping to get like um, like support for like the G five hundred in there because that would be kind of neat. Like be able Piper. to sign Piper. Yeah. What does and that I get do? Do you have uh? Oh. I have Piper installed, and if you have a Logitech mouse uh, that's just a mouse and uh, a keyboard that also works separate, uh, you need Piper. That that that's what that what, does. What what what, what about like Librat Bag? Every time I look into it, I'm like, Piper I've... is just a GUI front end for Librat Bag. Well, there you go. But what else? Bagger, do you, do? I mean, like you have. Uh... Because I have a G series Logitech. It's got two clicky buttons. It's got the scrolly wheel and left and right. It's it also has that yeah. other button left like right and under right the left on this right. side, left and right on this side. It's got two buttons here instead of just the one, and it's got the one to release the uh, oh. scroll wheel. <laughs> yeah, you see, I don't have a mouse that looks like a douchey ass spaceship. Uh, <laughs> it's a G nine oh three. It was like da, sixty pounds. <laughs> this is about half the price that they were originally. Do you, do you keep so, it next yeah. to the other one that you don't use? 
Uh, that one, I'm waiting for the CKB people to allow me to use it properly, because right now, on this one, I have all the buttons that I it's need. It's only because it doesn't it. look enough like a spaceship. It's got too many curves. He likes shrug. It's still. Uh, actually, uh, the, uh, the one that, uh, Mike G got made the Corsair M55, uh, RGB, it has a lot more functionality than this one. But it doesn't work properly in Linux because there are no uh, active software drivers to support it. At this point, all I really need from a mouse is an unlockable scroll wheel, and I think I'm set. The only thing I really want in a fucking mouse is a Diablo logo. Yeah, you two assholes have two symmetrical hands. I don't. So yeah, <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can get you can get left-handed mice. This all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go look at the prices for the left-handed mice. Why don't you? Right. I, I don't know. I don't have a local leftorium I can check. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. so, sorry, what, what did you say? You were kind of mumbling there. <laughs> one, three, one. Mumble. You probably heard about it. Uh, maybe in legend and passing and speaking. Shh. It, it's the IRC chat equivalent of voice chat. I mean, pretty, it's pretty much what it is. I mean, uh, this one through one, if you use it, probably know what it is. Go ahead and get it. Uh, mostly security and bug fix is always good to see. For me, Mumble has always reminded me of like see you, see me, but without the video component. Um, some of you old timers will know what that is. Yeah, I I think I've used it once or twice out of curiosity. I'm like, hey, let's play with this. Let's see if it's a thing. Turns out it was, but it seems uh, unnecessarily complex for what it does, question mark. I mean, not, not really. It's like no more complicated than setting up a Ventrilo server. I mean, in 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 the era of like Jitsi and Discord and whatever, uh, the, like the need for like dedicated gaming audio clients is pretty low. Um, I guess if you really care about network performance, like it Mumble's supposed to be low latency, blah blah I mean, blah. Can, can I get like some integration with my GameSpy? GameSpy Arcade, hell yeah. <laughs> You, you can, you you can log machine. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to get on my Xfire account, man. Um, no, but like, I, I actually do know a lot of some people who really just like Discord. They don't like the fact that like they're off. They're having their audio potentially recorded by another company, so they run their own Mumble server. And sure, whatever, that's fine. Um, it's if you're if you're going to if you're going to be using that reasoning, it's good that Mumble is like continuing a security updates, not starting Jack servers on startup, that sort of thing. Not sending empty data to Pulse Audio, which are three items I saw in the release notes there. That's good. Yeah. That Firefox could stand to learn a couple of lessons from that. <laughs> Firefox needs to get on like when they when when they set up the audio syncs for the application in in Pulse Audio, it needs to have the tab name, just the tab name. Nope. Listen, best I can do is spawn four syncs. Okay, take it or leave yep. it. Four sinks and four uh, speech dispatchers because fuck you. That's why. Which one's the active one? Ah, man, I don't <laughs> yeah. know either. You you try to figure that out. Uh, yeah, you, you gotta you gotta talk and pay attention and. Uh, and you know what? If you're patient, some of them will just disappear. On so, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's 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 the true true. Money, money, money. We're not money, the only money, ones money. concerned with money. Uh, Godot, that open source game engine that everyone loves. Uh, they have a little um, they have a little they had a little budget meeting um a while ago and they published the report on June 11th um, so they, they had a lot of grant money from like Mozilla and Microsoft and they've been trying to figure out the best way to um, to apply that funding as well as the ongoing patreon which you should subscribe to because yes support support these guys um, but yeah there's there's a lot of talk about um, I just hire my name to be Fabio Fabio I work Fabio. with a dude named I work with a dude named Fabio, Fabio Alessandrelli <laughs> he sounds buttery Indeed. <laughs> sounds um, Italian. <laughs> it sounds like he might get hit in the face with an owl. You never know. Um, but yeah, uh, they, they, they have a they have they have a couple of things on the docket right here. Um, they're looking at uh, taking a couple of the contractors and hiring them on full time because you know they're, the engine is progressing and they need like dedicated man hours. Nice. Um, there is a documentation uh, infrastructure work. They're setting up some uh, bounties for um, documentation, which, you know, if you're not a coder and you want a way to contribute to an open source project, documentation is a great way to get started. Um, oh, yeah. They, they also have some things for like uh, switching between language, for switching between uh, Snake Case and Pascal Case, uh, some accessibility work. Um, and 
Yeah, Ven, you're you're excited about some of the cha some of the uh, bounties they're putting up on for the X server, yeah. I'm just like, yo, I mean, if you're gonna be throwing some money and some development dollars at X11 period, you were doing the flying spaghetti monsters work, son. More power to you. Blessed be raw men. And I mean, until like Wayland's ready in another decade. Thanks, de thanks, canonical. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're also doing like proper uh, right to left uh, text and font shaping uh, if you have, you know, because there are a lot of people in Arabic countries and um, like further out East Asian countries and literally any country that doesn't follow the Unicode uh, standard for language. If you have any kind of accents on your character, then you already need UTF-8. And that kind of development requires people who know the language and who know what they're doing. Mm. For most of the Western languages, that's already in place. But yeah, right to left languages and uh, complex uh, languages like Japanese, if you want to have your kanjis actually merge into the he one kanji for the he different he Hebrew words. Is, Hebrew is another that. one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that like Hebrew was a dead language until they were just like, yeah, let's bring it back. Yeah, it's true. There, 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 are, there are a lot of random words in Hebrew that are just bastardized from English. It's hilarious. It's like, yoink. But hey, man, English deserves that. Uh, what English did it yeah, to all the other languages. Offering bounties to for people who actually know those languages to contribute and get that support into Godot. Yeah, that's great. Uh, <laughs> and if you, and I, I again, I gotta reiterate this: if you want more cool stuff to come out of the Godot project, sub to their Patreon, give yeah. them some money. They're doing good work. They're they're doing work that extends beyond Godot as well, which I think is really important. I mean, it really doesn't like to the outside view. You don't see, it, but the, like one of the big important things about this is they're building the core for a at least unity level equivalent completely open source don't have to worry about at any point somebody <laughs> knocking on that door and saying give me about tree mm -hmm. that's very important whether or not you realize it yes yep. and 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 like i was saying um like a project that actually cares about their upstreams like Hey, we're we're reimplementing re a display server. We need to fix some stuff in X to make that happen, right? Like a lot of a lot of companies and projects will just be like, ah, we'll work around it. The fact that Godot is willing to like put their money where their mouth is and try to actually fix these upstream problems very very important, especially for like long term Linux stability. Um, and they finally got yeah. on the Vulcan train after the um, EGL of like, yeah, all right, fine. I mean, that that was like two years ago now, but like. <laughs> Anywho, the wild, but they eventually got. I've there. held on to grudges longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, no. They, they, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Now, <laughs> at least now, Godot doesn't really have to worry about supporting Mac, right? Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> but yeah, Enga, uh, which is a uh, bit of a open source engine reimplementation or remake of the Thimbleweed Park engine that we talked about a while back, but. It's back, and uh, someone was actually able to finish the game using Enga, which is amazing. <laughs> I just want to give it a plug, because, I mean, this dude's been hacking away while playing the game, fixing bugs yeah. as it goes along. It's like, done! I got to the end! Fuck you. Oh, yeah. he might not have said that, uh, but let's pretend yeah. he did. And the movie, that's really, I mean, for the type of game it was, man, it was very faithful, but it was modernized to the point of like, all right, this works. It's kind of entertaining. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, the important thing here is like, yeah, the game is fixed. There's apparently there's still bugs and you can like get through the entire game by mitigating some of these bugs, but there's still some, there's some stuff that needs to be done, but now you can get cracking on broken age, right? Right? <laughs> the re-implementation for that. If you need to hear Elijah that bad, just watch some Lord of the Rings, baby. Sam! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. Uh, All right. One last. Yeah, closing out the new segment. Uh, there's a Vulcan Pie. update. Yeah, so on, <laughs> on the Raspberry Pi, you now have some very, very rudimentary Vulcan support. Uh, you can get a little bit more than a triangle. You can get some of these, like, lovely scenes some of and objects, some of which don't actually work. Um, but um, the code is available. Um, they, they are still, uh, they're still working on completing the entire Vulcan 1.0 feature set. Um, it's but, full of trees. I mean, 
but they've uh, but the important thing here is they've actually released the source code for their Vulkan GPU implementation driver. So now, hopefully, with it being open source, um, it will speed up implementation of the other Vulkan features. And one thing I really do hope will happen is now that it's open, some like kids and hobbyists can start like becoming graphics programmers and getting some experience. Yeah, with, man, they're like, gonna get right to that, and they're gonna be an R Vulkan. And they're like, you know what? Fuck this triangle, man. Fuck Vulkan. <laughs> I'm just gonna use DirectX 12. It's the future. Where DX12 support for Raspi? Where? And, you know, to be fair, most of them are like. All right, this thing's kicking my ass. I need some help. And they get some help. That's a good place yeah. to go hang out if you're playing around with Vulcan, by the way. Indeed. Um, yeah, so ho hopefully they get, some, uh, they get some kids playing around with that. Um, I, I, yeah, that, that's it. A whole um, new generation growing up learning Vulcan on the Raspberry Pi. Yes, please. Yeah, you got the source yeah. code there. I'm yes, more please. curious to see. You're going to have the Pi 4. Now you got the 4 gig. Now we know that there's going to be an 8 gig version of this. More modern-ish <laughs> emulators. That game gets a little more interesting. Oh yeah, because I, I definitely think we're going to be able to see PlayStation Two emulation like very reliably. Oh yeah, no, they get Vulcan working with the eight gigabyte version. Oh yeah, oh it's, yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's gonna it's gonna be interesting times. This this little Tinker Toy hobby computer has really really blown up. It's going to be great. And my is like, ooh, I was thinking about Dolphin. I'm like, no, Dolphin's just too um, CPU. Maybe bound. for GameCube games, maybe. I mean, <laughs> three twenty by. Yeah, uh, six forty by four eighty at uh, most. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I mean, Vulcan uh, Dolphin has better Vulcan in implementation than RPCS two. So true, but yeah. it also it, it, it wants some cores, baby. Yes. Well, again, it's it is kind of. It's got to emulate the entire GPU, right. yeah. which I mean, again, Dolphin's pretty impressive. All I things get it. Just, yeah, what, I'm yeah. not hating on it. I'm just saying what is and what is not on that. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 we haven't heard an update from them for a while. I wonder. We were getting like one a month from them for a while. Probably because yeah, know. our PCS three, yeah. uh, PCS yeah. X two has been basically baked for a while now. Uh, I, oh, I, 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 I was talking about regular games. I was talking about uh, <laughs> Dolphin, but yeah, I was talking about oh, meat yeah, guns that too. <laughs> meat guns. Well, you, you, you got to talk about like fire meat later because we're fire throwing meat. chairs. Fire meat, Wizard of Legend. You can shoot fire and lightning meat and ice meat and wind meat. So many meats. Mm, when we meat. touch, when we meet, and when we kiss. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chairquisition. I am the Unicorn Wizard. Uh, and I'm also a legendary one, which makes sense because we're throwing chairs at Wizard of Legend uh, this week. It's from Contingent 99 done in Unity. Uh, you can pick it up for about 15 bucks US. What is it? Wizard of Legend is a no nonsack. No nonsack. No nonsack, no non baby. <laughs> no nonsense. Action pack Wait, take can you on have Wizard. A no nonsack order. Yes. Uh, so it's is that just called a, a eunuch order. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, just, it's just a straight sack. Mm. It's like it's it, it's it's like a it's like a butt crack. It, it's the Grundle. Uh, anyways, um, per, action pack take on wizardry that per, emphasizes precise movement and smart comboing of spells in a roguelike dungeon crawler that features over a hundred unique spells and relics. These guys sent us some keys, right? That was in the key list forever ago. No, no, no. The patrons we, we, got him. Yep. Oh, yeah. well, thank, thank you, you patrons. So, thank you so much, <laughs> Patreons. Screw you, Contingent 99. We're going to take a look yeah, at your yeah, fucking yeah. game. Do how, 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 how'd it run on Debian? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, let's check it out. Uh, Debian 10. Ran, ran fine. Ran like a charm, actually. Uh, on just no problem. Right monitor. Good on you. It holds a solid hipster pixel 60, which it should. Uh, 1080p and UHD 31. 40 by 2160. And... And my hooker red PS4 controller had button support. Now you get to fuck around a little bit for it. It's not obvious. Hell, it doesn't even stand on the menu correctly. It's like button type one, button type two. The funk button type. Oh, look at that. X's and shapes and shit. I'm going to use this controller, which I did. And it worked. Uh, it's responsive. I mean, for Unity title, it's pretty decent. Uh, let's talk about fun, though, because for me... I didn't know anything other about this game than Pedro wanted to play it. That's pretty much where I stopped and started. It, it's kind of damn boring. I'm going to be honest, for me. Because what you're seeing there, you're seeing that level? It's, it's procedurally generated levels with different texture packs. Man, you're running around dungeons. It's a dungeon crawler. 
There's no other way around it. Sometimes the dungeons are in forest, though, so you know it makes us things up. I mean, it's it's nice and difficult. It's a little hard until you realize that it's effectively stun lock the game. Combat for me, whatever the opposite of fluid is, that's what it is. And your slippity slide dash, you get that real early, and you fall down holes a lot, which it doesn't really penalize you for. It's like, eh, you lose a little health. I'm like, I'll just keep on doing it, man. Fuck you, Gabe. I guess it's one of those, maybe you guys can help me out with this. Is this definitely like a slower burn? Like if you get an hour or two into this and get your character upgraded to a point where it kind of becomes fun? Maybe? No, it, it, does, it doesn't take an Not hour. really. Not really. Okay, so it never becomes fun. Thank you both for confirming that. <laughs> Subjective category. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. When I died the first time, man, check this out. I died the first time. I'm like, oh, 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 this is a roguelite. Okay. Fuck this game. Kind of tapped yeah. out. You know what? I went back and I played it some more, though, for the sake of this review, man. But mentally, I'd kind of checked out. I like the art style. Um, I like the combat. I like the spells. Uh, Fuck this little guy right here. That is like, what are these? Car- oh, I'm dead. And then I died a lot. It, it's okay. Maybe if I had played it, had a chance to play it, and I didn't get a chance to play it in multiplayer with you guys today because I was uploading a 50 gig file. But yeah, man, uh, if you don't like this business, you're not going to like this. I'm going to say nope. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 32 64-bit with the 6700K GTX 1080 Ti, this thing brought it to a crawl. No, it didn't. It ran at like 300 <laughs> frames a second. Um, yeah, it ran. It ran when I clicked play. Um, so I had the DualShock 4 Steam input integration on, so I didn't get any DualShock. Apparently, you got to change that in the in the game. Uh, so I, I don't know that. Um, I actually do like the enemy designs a lot in the game. Uh, I think everything is uh, like on, honestly the when, I'll I'll get to it in the fun section, but color blindness was entirely my fault because I picked the wrong color character. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so did and so did Pedro. So yeah. Um, and anyways, yeah. But like, I mean, I dicked around a little bit in single player, and it's like a standard, if not well done, roguelike dungeon crawler. You buy or you find card spells, and you you map them to buttons to dip, dodge, dive, and dodge your way to success. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard for my particular brand of ADD to constantly juggle enemy numbers, health, and positioning. So stuff like this and Hyperlight Drifter and Dark Souls doesn't really play well with my particular brain architecture. Um, but um, it is a lot more fun with partner, though. Um, there is no online multiplayer, but Steam Remote Play does work in a pinch. I played a little bit of this with Pedro today, about an hour of it. Um, and yeah, the difficulty scales decently well. Um, I will I will say though the one the one thing I do have problem I do have with the remote play is that um, a lot of this is like customize your character to the point where you can play it effectively and when you go to someone else's game you're kind of stuck with whatever they unlocked so if you found a nice combo that works for you they may not necessarily have it i think the both of us were sort of like at the earliest stage of the game where like we had most of the same stuff so it wasn't too bad um but yeah um yeah, the difficulty scales well, but eventually one of you will die, leaving the other one to like survive long enough to collect enough health to resurrect them. Um, but that's kind of that kind of like brings me to my main gripe with the combat in this game. You can get through a lot of stuff by just running around the corners of the room and like cutting enemies and slowly picking them off one at a time with like your big damage dealing spells. I mean, as you can see here, sometimes the room layout doesn't let you do that by having like weird shapes and pits that you can knock enemies into, which is really fun. I like being able to do that, and there's like a whole build set around that. That said, um, most of the time you're still just like tracing the the borders and dipping and dodging to just essentially nickel and dime your enemies to death. Um, I mean, however, how, however, um, I mean, it's it's well done enough. I I enjoyed it enough that the only reason I stopped playing it was I had to sit down and write this review. So I'll give it three cheers. And over here in KDE Neon Land, uh, with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, uh, yeah, it launched, but I managed to make it reliably crash by either unplugging or tur- turning off the uh, controller. To seriously, pick one, it uh, it would crash if I turned it off or I unplugged it. Um, it's sort of what you'd expect from a Unity hipster pixel graphics game uh, about 900 ish FERPs if you disabled vsync and with the uh, vsync on it actually vsync to 144 on this monitor which is awesome the dualshock v2 was having none of it i the steam controller worked out of the box obviously and then after it's like playing with jordan it's like oh 
using the DualShock, are you? So I tried the uh, DualShock V1, and it's like, yeah, this one works. This one doesn't. Figure it out. Wizard, uh, why, do you have, the, why do you have two? Oh, I guess one came with the PS4, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, the for the fun, well, it is a roguelite, and... This one, skill and quick reflexes matter more than, well, pretty much anything else. Uh, I like the roguelites and the roguelikes, and this one I very much enjoyed. Uh, you use and you abuse that dash mechanic, much like the dodge roll in Dark Souls. Uh, my favorite thus far is the cold dash, which leaves uh, two little uh, ice decoys that if the enemies hit, they will freeze in place. Oh. So dude, like, dude, and oh, <laughs> any any of the cold spells are like so essential here because they freeze enemies, which gives you a fucking second to like regroup and focus down one instead of mad dashing through everything. Well, right oh, yeah, until you realize that all the archers have player. you in their cross sights, Ben. Like, yeah. well, then you free <laughs> then you freeze them, and you don't have to worry about them. <laughs> Pretty much. It's basically crowd control, and it's combined with the dodge. So you do the dodge, and you're crowd controlling at the same time. It's amazing. Look and, at this uh, fucker. It's, it's, very, a it's a very apple hard apple game. With a human that's, a, <laughs> that's, that's a tomato, my friend. That is a tomato. <laughs> that looks very tomato-y, yeah. <laughs> The, um, yeah, no, as the one person on this podcast that really does appreciate the Souls games and all that they bring, this one, it absolutely does tickle me in all the right places. Wow. I'm not very good at it, just, you know. Did, did you just <laughs> compare Wizard of Legends as and Dark tradition. Souls? All right. I mean, I, mean wow. I, I, think a, I think a more apt comparison would be to Hyperlight Drifter, because it plays a lot like that. Yeah. yeah, you don't have an active um, stamina bar that you need to manage with everything else, but everything has a cooldown, so that is very similar in that respect. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I would prefer it if I could use the DualShock 4 V2, which is, you know, the controller I use, but uh, I don't mind using the Steam controller, and in a pinch I can just go and use the old uh, DualShock 4 V1, so yeah, no, four chairs. All right, well, there you go. If you like roguelikes, so it'll be all right. If you don't, it's not going to change your mind. Yeah, I kind of wish it did. I mean, it, by dudes. I don't know, man. This seems like I, mm, I, I like character progression saving. I don't like getting the reset button tapped on me. I don't know. I, 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 you I don't can know. buy permanent upgrades in town with the chaos gems. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, they, they have like the two currency systems. You have oh, the yeah. gold, which lets you buy stuff in the maps, and that maps to your uh, shoulder buttons. Oh, yeah. And then if you want to like change your combat style, it's all there. Like the watching gems. the videos, watching the trailer when you're seeing a lot of the power ups and combos and stuff like that looks like it gets interesting at some point. I don't know where that some point is, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I think part of it is I like being able. I like being able to experiment with like different builds and playing around. It's with got stuff, balloons so. in it. We, it's we, got it's 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 got a donkey. It's got a little pinata that you have to combo it like yeah. fifty times to get a reward. <laughs> yep. You, so if you if you want to smack that donkey, this is the game for you. Smack the donkey, baby. Hashtag smack that donkey. <laughs> get that trending on Twitter, bre fam. Bam. Smash that donkey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Com coming up next, we got to talk about uh, some Ataris and why ET is the greatest game in history. Yeah. Wrong button. Just be grateful you don't watch us live, because, uh, yeah, no, that was not on point. Shut and up, baby. <laughs> but, hey, if you'd like to let us know exactly at which point during the show we weren't on point, and I've said point often enough uh, in this Stick particular Stick with bit, what you know, baby. Uh, are, are you I'm sure? We, that we, gonna... I seem to be missing your point. I, I'm just gonna stop now. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like Content. to point, point, get point, point them us, in the right direction, I will I you point, point you in the right direction by going to contact, uh, well, linuxgamecast.com forward slash contact, contact or just hitting the uh, contact button on linuxgamecast.com. Uh, there's a form there that you need to fill. LGC Weekly is usually the default selection, so just make sure you fill in the rest of the form and we'll get your hate mail right here, right now. If you're a Patreon, you can also leave us a comment on Patreon, of course. Uh, if you decide to scream at us on Twitter, it may very well happen that your uh, thing will show up here. But uh, if you do decide to do like this person did today and just leave us a comment on the YouTube video, well, 
if it's it's you know, a good one. Thought good was enough, went into it. It will show up here. <laughs> All right. So 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 this 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 one is from Shondell, and he says Atari VCS is going to actually come out. It's a real product they will bring out when they are ready, and I don't mind Atari taking their their wrong there sweet time with Atari VCS. I don't know doubts at all about this coming out, and I, I do. Ladies have and faith gentlemen, this is how it's written. Jordan is not in the process of having a stroke. I'm not. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, that, 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 that's it. No, no, no punctuation <laughs> at all. That I think this is not a scam at all. Do I see the Atari VCS coming out soon? But I'm actually excited for it. I think it has potential. I have no concerns at all. That's just me, honest opinion. But thanks for sharing your thought on Atari VCS. Okay, do you think this is a real comment? Like, do you think like? I, I I don't I don't know I don't know. I, listen I know, I know it's your sarcasm. guy it's sarcasm it's gotta be sarcasm, I don't know if it's sarcasm right? but like, I know I know where you're going Jordan but I think AI is better than that I don't even I, this is this is like AI translation of like a form reply because th there's like I I I don't I don't know I think I think this I think this was definitely run through Google Translate at some point possibly possibly <laughs> I didn't like, know that you know Google Translate could handle extra solar languages but. Hey, it can it can do it can do Klingon. It can do Klingon. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair it enough. can, yes. Uh, but no, it it has to be like some matter of sarcasm that has its roots in the irony of the whole thing. That what we were saying during the show about the Atari VCS eventually, finally, maybe coming out. Right. See, I want to believe what you just said was completely true. Unfortunately, I also subscribe to R Smash Z. <laughs> it's still coming out now granted they're down to about seven people that will jump in anytime so like when this thing's coming out oh it's coming out when it's ready you don't know what you're talking about these are a sunk cost fallacy so. I, 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 I mean I, 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 think, I think what's happening here is a lot of us would love to be proved wrong I would love for Atari to come out with a great set-top box console that can run PC games, it runs Linux, blah, blah, blah. That would be amazing. But I also, I would also love for it to shit ice cream and produce blowjobs whenever I want. So I don't, I don't expect coffee. that to happen. The moral of that stay away from Jordan's electronics, man. I wouldn't, listen, like I said last you should. week. Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> like I, that's why I sent you that CPU to keep an eye on you. Yeah. Well, it's too late. I I didn't let me let me just say I didn't use thermal paste when I put the for the Evo 212 on it. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> miracle whip, baby, all the way. Um, it, it, it's a miracle, all right, baby. <laughs> I really do want the VCS to come out. Um but for the reason I stated was I just want the backers to get what they put their money in for because it it's a bad image when all this shit just continually keeps fucking failing. And that's why I wanted out. But Let's say this does come out. It's the Linux console. It's what they say. It can do roughly what they say. Hell, a bit of a no. Let's say it's, it, it can do everything. It said it good on the tin. All right, let's just run with that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, like it or not, best case, and I do mean best possible case, is we end up with another Ouya. Hmm. Think about that. This is the Ouya. I'm like, wait, what? Now, a lot of you are like, oh, oh, wow, that thing that played Android games and was, everyone loved it. It was a big hit for about six months. Then by the end of that year, even the people who bought one forgot it even existed. This, I think, is quite possibly the best case scenario for an Atari VCS, wood paneling and all. But... Uh, well, well, so it's it's interesting you bring up Ouya, because, like, I think Ouya had an additional draw. It was trying to market itself as, like, the open source console, not necessarily bound by any restriction based on publisher, blah, blah, blah. Atari doesn't really have that. Atari has, like, hey, it's a set talk box. It'll play your old Atari games. It'll play some new PC games, maybe? Borderlands 2? Maybe. Borderlands, maybe. <laughs> um, oh, and, well, like, it better, but people are going to have problems when they're like, uh, you had the video of it playing yeah, yeah. but 
but the, then then the question becomes like where is the where is the developer support where is where is the case to be made for publishers and developers to say this is a worthwhile target we're going to like if if we're going to support linux and we get we get vcs support out of the box whatever proton will handle that for us we don't have to do anything because linux gaming is dead long live proton um but i, I, I don't know like I, I don't i don't see the draw i don't see something that says to the developers hey this is a platform that will get penetration it will get your game in front of people this is what you should support and you well to the point of developers they even going back to the yeah a lot of them jumped into that because there was some work to be done to customize it with gamepad support for all that you know like yeah no i don't see anyone getting behind this unless this can just play like borderlands 2 that's the thing. The hacking proposition of the VCS, mm -hmm. if it can be hacked and it can be made to run that it wasn't supposed to at any point, that is going to be its sole saving grace. That's what I said uh, last it, week. And if, if, if the price point is comparable to like, or is better yeah. than like a Nook or like w one of these other like miniature x86 the boxes. Nook is not a very good price point to be fair. No, no, no. I, I, I know what you're saying, but like, I, I don't know what else. Completely off topic. I don't know what else to call that small form factor of computers. Who, the... Who's going to blink first by revealing the fuck you pricing? The Xbox One X or the PS5? Because both of them are like, let's just not bring that up right now. You know, you know, I my mean, money's on going the, to be my two money's on the VCS versions of the, the Xbox, right? There's going to be like the light version and the like full on stack. The the, the, the heavy the heavy version. Thing. Yes, there's definitely yeah. going to be the one that you can't immediately afford and the one that you hope someone gets you for a holiday present. Yeah, the the yes. the, the Xbox Series triple thick CCC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> hey, we've managed to do another show thanks for joining us because you know what yeah it's that time is that the right song yeah, I guess. A song yes <laughs> it's taking its time man no ah well whatever hey it sounds like linux gamecast it's gonna <laughs> be a free software, a software song by jonah bacon yeah beautiful people uh i'm vince Stoke. You can always find me at Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm there. I'm actually on Mastodon. I post shit there. It's more like random stuff than you normally expect. But hey, man, go check that business out. And uh, I will say hi to you. Don't get cranky at me if I don't see like your like reply on Twitter. Because people reply to me a lot in there. And I, I try to read them all. But sometimes I miss them. Just hit me up twice. I'm Jordan Spung. I'm on Twitter at The Burning Fool, where I will see your messages, and then I will agonize about whether to respond to them, and then it will be like three days later, I'll be like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> or I'm also on Mastodon at Projo. Yeah. And you can follow me at Unaccounted4 on Twitter, that's F O U R, and I will absolutely reply to you. Especially if you're actively trying to bait me into replying something. Why I should bait it. Takes anything. Hi. I will. I, w I am your Twitter bitch. I can see hey, that. Hey, no, hey, no, 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 no. Hey. No, dude. Just fucking at reply and be like, hi, period. Pedro's like, what the fuck are you trying to say? No, no, <laughs> Pedro, you, you, you gotta change your name on Twitter to Pedro Jebated Mateus. Mm. <laughs> I jebated myself. I'm like AMD. We yep. gotta roll some credits, beautiful people. Thanks so much. <laughs> Maybe we have credits. Maybe. Yeah. Maestro, I thought that said maestros of ass for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I am an ass maestro. Thank you very much. <laughs> maestros of ass. Sultan's a swing. Eat a bag of dicks. We're the maestros of ass. We're the maestros. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We're the maestros of ass. Do, do, do. We gotta thank. We gotta thank Haplo and our Theron and Empty and the Atomic Ass and Mike G and Mark Knopfler for not suing us, please. Altius, Mac Geek, uh, Scott, <laughs> Frostlaw, Drummer. We got, we got. We got Strider, Mr. Fox Doog, and the rest. The producers, every single one of you. Seriously, hey, help if I thank you, mute. all uh, of you. Mike w, <laughs> Nova King, Rightna, Nicole, The Sildan, North Ranger, Mazavonia, Minijack, Nicole, Jordan, Nine Bullets, Wintercell, Sherryweg, Von Hovenstoffen, 
Nibbles, Craig, Vertnog, Kyalinixcast, Sildat, Cactus, North Ranger, Igor. Yes. Hey, Mir. This is Lynx and Iris121. <laughs> now we have Shane Steve. Michelle. Oh, we we got to give PowerShell and Linux a plug, man. They're yeah, certainly making it able. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're certainly making it capable for Windows admins to script under Linux. And Nixon's Pyramid on library. <laughs> Nixon, 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 Nixon. Tricky dicks, baby. Tricky dicks. It's Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Ass mode. Ass maestro. Bye. <laughs> oh, now you gotta say change uh, ass mode to ass maestro. Fuck. <laughs> Five dudes.